Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and this is another beginner series video and it has to do with what does it mean when a receiver says that it's dual triple conversion and what does it change what does it add to the radio itself so radios come in different types of technologies the most basic ones are single conversion that means that there's one intermediate frequency that is used in the radio they are usually cheaper and are the simplest form of radios around then you have of course dual conversion receivers that are more advanced usually a little more expensive and the higher end radios a lot of them have triple conversion so what does it add and what does it do exactly? Well, when you listen to shortwave, one of the biggest problems that plague some receivers is what we call images. An image is a, a radio station on a frequency that is also received on another frequency that should not be there. So, for example, you might be listening to WWV time signal on 15,000 kilohertz, and you might be tuning 15,910, and you might be hearing it, but it's not on 15,910. And what is happening? Well, that is the problem that plagues single conversion receivers. Because the intermediate frequency is low, it actually, because the intermediate frequency is, you know, kind of an oscillator in there, it's a transmitter. What it does in that conversion is that it actually rebroadcasts, if you want, the signal that it receives, but at twice that intermediate frequency. Um, fre so basically, most basic receivers are at 455 kilohertz of IF or intermediate frequency times 2 that means 910 so that's why I give that example that 15,000 kilohertz WWV could be on 15,910 it is a problem because you can be listening to a lot of signals and be reporting the wrong frequency because you might be listening to the image and apart from actually having a knowledge of frequencies of stations there's no way of knowing if a signal is an image or an actual signal on that frequency you're listening to. So to fix that, they created dual conversion re receivers. Dual conversion pushes the first intermediate frequency on a higher frequency. And it still has an image creation, but the frequency is often high enough that the image is out of the receiver's receiving range. So say that this, the uh, dual conversion receiver has an intermediate frequency of 50 megahertz. And that's just an example here. Well, that means that the if, if we use the same rule that, you know, double that would give you an image, it's 100 megahertz. Most receivers on shortwave end at 30 megahertz. So by pushing the IF higher in frequency, it removes the probability of having images appear on the shortwave bands. So that's why when you buy a radio at the simplest form, a dual conversion receiver should be the minimum you actually um, have as a receiver. Most receivers that are mid-range to higher range are all at least dual conversions. The single conversions are only really for the cheapest of all the radios out there for the most part. Analog radios will often be single conversion. Not all of them, but a lot of them will be. When you get to PLL synthesized receivers, usually most of them are dual conversion. So removes the possibility of getting images. And, of course, you've got the triple conversion receiver, which is a higher end radio in general and adds more capabilities to the receiver. 
because you can the um, intermediate frequency can be tapped in for all sorts of purposes and for all sorts of technologies so if we put it at the simple form single conversion receivers will have images they are the most basics of radios in general then you have dual conversion receivers which are more of the mid-range receivers those have no images this is what you should actually look for if you're seriously looking into shortwave radio like i said most pll driven receivers and most dsp receivers today are all at least dual conversion and of course triple conversion but honestly uh triple conversion is more of a gimmick in many many cases than an actual upgrade on many radios and does not necessarily mean that it's better than a dual conversion uh, it depends on the radio and it depends on all the features the radio has if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching